you ask me to describe Jim, um, he's a true leader. I've never worked with anybody who I look up to as much as Jim. I think uh, Dr. Lapinara has a lot of qualities that set him aside from most other physicians that you'll meet in your lifetime. He, he has been in every possible role at St. Joe's that made patient care phenomenal. Well, Dr. Labanyara has been a leader. Uh, he has been really a champion and a supporter of the medical staff and of the chairs. And uh, he's enabled us uh, to improve the quality of care of our patients at, at St. Joseph's. Jim uh, brings a sense of excellence to virtually everything he touches. Jim brings out the best in people around him. He represents a lot of the best of us in this profession. He uh, they diagnosed the fact that I have a hearing disability because I was a musician for many, many years. And so he and I got to talking about that. I went to see him in his office and he tuned my ears up and it's been excellent. He's really changed uh, how I hear people. If there's one thing I would want people to know about, it's really just what a good physician and good person he is. He is always there for everybody. He's always a physician advocate and is more than willing to stick up for us. But he's also a patient advocate and is always there for the patients of St. Joseph's. My family grew up across the street from Jim's house, just three doors down and across the street. So Dr. Jimmy, as he became known to me when I was only 10 years old, was attending medical school. So he instantly became my hero at age 10 because that was my passion. In the first few years here, Dr. Lavignera and I collaborated working with patients who had infections in the head and the neck area. Uh, our relationship was cordial and uh, professional. The relationship changed in 2014. Uh, that year, I was diagnosed with uh, metastatic thyroid cancer. And uh, after the initial evaluation, I went to see Dr. Labanera for the first time as a patient, not as a colleague. The concern pre-surgery was, um, A, I would need a tracheostomy, and B, I would not have a voice. Our relationship evolved after that. As I said, the surgery was more complex than either of us expected. And I was very grateful at that point to realize I still had a voice. Since then, uh, you know, our relationship has evolved, I guess, because I not only uh, consider him a colleague, but he is my physician, and he is uh, the surgeon who allowed me to be here today. I can't think of a better person to honor with the award tonight. He has been at the forefront of all quality initiatives in the hospital. He is an active clinician for over 40 years at the hospital. I had an opportunity to operate together with him, my residents operate with him, I've learned a great deal from him just in the realm of surgery, but also how to lead, how to be um, a person of great integrity, uh, it's who he is as a human being that makes him deserving, it's who he is as a leader of other doctors in this facility that makes him deserving, and um, it's long overdue. I can't think of a more outstanding physician than Jim Labignaro, who demonstrates honesty, integrity, and due diligence in his job. He represents everything that St. Joseph stands for. Uh, so for many years, uh, Dr. Labignaro was Santa's helper. He piloted uh, a helicopter uh, that brought uh, Santa Claus from up in the sky uh, for children uh, during the holiday parties and our children every year looked forward to him coming uh, with his helicopter and bringing uh, Santa Claus. So I brought a quote just because it reminds me of Jim. It's from Winston Churchill, a great leader. And he says, what makes a living is what we earn. What makes life is what we give. That's Jim. He gives all the time to his patients, to his colleagues, to his friends, to other chairs. He's a remarkable person. <laughs>